it going? My name is Jackie Fish and welcome back to some more Kingdom Come Deliverance. We are back with another episode. In the last episode, we fought a pretty epic battle against a well-trained knight. He was German. He was also after the bandits who have been printing false coin. So we went ahead and followed him, tracked him down. He tried to attack us. We managed to beat him back because I am such a pro sword fighter now. And we, we were victorious and he gave us some information. We're going to go ahead and hopefully get that information translated now so that we can just basically get more more i guess info on the falsely minted coins which will hopefully lead us one step closer to the person behind i also went ahead and sold a ton of gear um which i had just stocked up and i went ahead and bought a new shield we also have a mace as well i got this heavy mace from a secret chest because uh, which was like right over here if you're interested in getting it yourself because i don't really want to get all these dlc chests which give us loads of money and give us really good armor i want I kind of work my way up through the ranks you know as i do quests i want to then you know use that money i get from doing quests to hopefully earn us more gear and instead of just kind of grabbing it from just finding a chest randomly however that warhammer was really cool and i wanted just to use it so we have a shield and a warhammer now which we'll hopefully be using quite aggressively um because you guys have been hounding me to go ahead and uh and get a warhammer and a shield so or at least a mace and a shield um, so I, th I swear we we're supposed to um, Sir, see this guy. I've been to and the parish priest there is very odd indeed. Yeah, we really so actually, we actually already asked him university about university this. To be so when he finished studying? Yeah, we actually already uh, spoken to him about that. Let's see if uh, uh, Ranzig actually has any side quests for us, because I do want to pick up a few more side quests to do maybe next episode. May I be of service, my lord? Let's see if there's anything yes, else for us to do. Chief Engineer Faithfar has been asking for someone reliable to assist him. The Chief Engineer? Is it about Scalets? In a manner of speaking. Master Faithfar has, well, evil forebodings. I think he may want to send you to the Scalets mines. Can they really be restored? Everything can be rebuilt with enough will and resources. Well, everything except a man. You'll get the details from Chief Engineer Faithfar. For the time being, consider yourself his handyman. Certainly. Where do I find him? Is he here in the castle? Where? Now that's a good question. He went to Sasai to deal with something there, most likely at the inn. Well, thank you. I'll go and see him straight away. Good luck, Hal. Okay, so we can do that along our way, because I believe we'll be heading to Sasau very soon anyway. Um, so I, I imagine we'll want to speak to him and uh, get that sorted. So who are we looking for? Oh, not here. Yeah, this is like the, the guard quarters right there, so we must be up. Because we are currently looking for Tobias, yeah, Tobias Faithar, um, to go ahead and get these letters translated. So he must be up, uh, up one of these. I mean, I, I mean, I believe we'll be heading to Sassau ourselves anyway to go and, uh, I guess, talk to a German knight again. God save you, Henry. God save you. Um, so let's open this up and. Yay, perfect, he's right here. So let's talk to him. Um, yeah, we'll talk to him. And then I guess we'll head out uh, somewhere else. Oh, yeah, I also picked up a another bandit quest as well from Captain Bernard, which we might look to do if we ever buy Neuhoff. Um, I should probably sort out my quest a little bit more, uh, if I'm honest. So that we know just to go back in a couple of days. Uh, so we'll get rid of that. I picked up another one as well from Sahan. So we have quite a few side quests, which we're probably going to work towards. Obviously, courtship as well. Uh, it's almost been a couple of days, so we'll, I guess, see Teresa as well. Or maybe we'll just have an entire day of just doing side missions in the next couple episodes. Depending on, you know, if we're going to have to commit to something quite long with this main story quest. I'll try and Lord do something Grace. else beforehand. What brings you to me? I'm here, Sir Radzik, uh, fake Russians. Yeah, let's say Sir Radzik. Master Faithar. Sir Radzik sent me to you. Did he? He must think highly of you. I do the best I can. That's good, because this is damned important. Silver's our most valuable asset. How can I help with these, um, evil forebodings of yours? <laughs> oh, wait, is this the guy Sir we're supposed Radzik to talk to? <laughs> of it, but a large quantity of silver has been discovered hereabouts, and no one is guarding the Scullet's mines, the most likely source. You really think someone could be stealing the silver from the mines? I would have thought that would be quite a job, wouldn't it? It certainly would. Which is why I'd like you to go and check out not only the mine gallery, but also the yard with the smelter and the waterworks. See what kind of state it's all in, and if anything looks suspicious. 
Yeah, I can do that. So this is actually the side mission we just got from Saradzig. I didn't, because he said he would be in Sasa, and obviously this is Ratei. So I assumed, I guess maybe it's because we have to see him here for the main storyline. So instead of being at S uh, Sasau, he's now at Rite. It'd make a lot more sense. Um, so let's You've go ahead and just do get all of this stuff. Mill. That's the one. I don't know what state it's in now. There used to be a stock of charcoal and smelted silver there. A silver store? Could there really be any left? I doubt it. I'd be surprised if it was still standing at all. What about these waterworks? What's there? A stamping mill and washing troughs. They're on the bend in the river below the castle. You can't miss them. There are big tanks and equipment all around. Okay, okay. You said mine gallery. Just one. Boy, there's such a maze there that it would take a week to crawl through the place. There's only one gallery I'm interested in. At the foot of the hill by a small fish pond. Why just that one? Because I was expecting to find a scene there. All the indications pointed to it. So if anyone is stealing silver, it'll be right there. Should I be expecting trouble, then? Welcome, well, I definitely wouldn't treat the job like a visit to church on Sunday. You could find yourself facing that pack of hungry dogs trailing the army, or a band of brigands. I see. Well, you and Saradza can rely on me. That's all clear. I'll... Cool, that sounds like a pretty cool mission. Obviously, uh, I didn't mean to feather it. Doing what? I'm just chilling. Um, so Radzik, so yeah, we'll go and do this side mission probably next episode, or maybe we'll, depending on if we go up here, because we obviously have to wait till the stuff blows over and stuff, but that'll be up in Scallets, which we can go and do, but for now, we'll go ahead and, uh, obviously further the quest Greetings. as well over here. What bit? Uh, Fate Groshans, yeah? That's what I want to see. Master Feyfar, I need to speak with you. I found out something about the counterfeit coin. Did you really? Do tell. Close to Rovna... I came across a wagon that was transporting the false coins. Unfortunately, I came too late. The carter and his men were dead. Damn and blast. Do you know who did it? Yes. A certain knight turned up there. Turned out he was also after the forgers. Well, that is indeed unexpected. Tell me, what did he say? His name is Ulrich. He looked like a knight, but he refused to show his master's colours. Ulrich, you say? Hmm could be anyone. Can you describe him? An older man with a moustache. But for all his grey hairs, he seemed pretty tough to me. Hmm. Doesn't match anyone I've heard of. But then we don't even know if Ulrich is his real name. He gave me these documents to show you. He seemed to think they prove he was telling the truth. They're the records of the interrogations in Passau and some other things he said you'd understand better than him. Hmm. Let me see. We, the aldermen of the city of Passau, uh -huh. interrogation held this day, uh -huh. put to pain by the Questa. Okay. The place of origin is a monastery in the land of Bohemia. Hmm. Which certainly confirms my suspicion that something underhand is going on in Sasso. Coin assay report. Copper core coated with amalgam. Ah, but this is interesting. Here's an outlying description of how the forgeries are made. I'll have to study it more closely. We command Herr Ulrich to investigate and let no man stand in his way. This looks like the original safe conduct. It has the seal of the Passau alderman, but they certainly didn't pen this. How do you know? I recognise the hand. It's a Clement of Kaplitz, the high scribe of the Rosenbergs. The Rosenbergs? Who's that? A rich and powerful family in South Bohemia. Burgrave Henry III is a great rival of our King Wenceslas. So he's obviously paying to, uh, to get so this stuff done. what does all this mean? Well, it certainly explains why your knight is so mysterious. Anyway, we should be careful. And we shall begin our investigation. The documents show they use silver amalgam for coating copper fakes. That's a lead we can follow. Amal what? Silver amalgam. It's produced from quicksilver and silver. Well, that doesn't sound like something just anyone can get hold of. Hmm. You're quite right. You will go to Sasso at once. Look around the forges in the city. Someone must be working copper for them. I, meanwhile, will take counsel with Sir Radzik and then follow after you. Where shall we meet? At the inn on Sasso Market Square. Okay, cool. So we've done that. We have to go over to Sasau now. I might actually end up and do... Uh, might actually do a few side missions this episode instead, because... 
By the sounds of it, I imagine if we go to Sasau, we'll end up probably spending a lot of time in there. So I might try and clean up a lot of the side missions we have. Um, unfortunately, we can't continue to court Teresa quite yet. Um, so we have what? We have this one. This was the one that Sir Hanish gave us, but that's all the way up in Uzert, which we don't really want. God's Hand is something we can do over in uh, Sasau, I believe. Yeah, I believe this in God's Hands is over there. I, I can't see where else it would be. Uh, so we'll leave that. And a friend in need as well. So let's make our way up to uh, these guys. Um, we'll go see Matthew and Fritz again. I will probably end up this episode in Sasau because Scalitz is quite a distance away. So I probably don't want to go all the way over to Scalitz itself. I also wouldn't mind finding uh, a heavily armored person that we can test out our strength against. That would be pretty nice. Um, yeah, like someone that we could use our, our mace and shield and really test out that combo. So for now, we will make haste over to see Matthew and Fritz clear up that mission. They also are probably going to give me like, I don't know, like 50 Groshans as well. So every little helps. We'll pick that up. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, it is just up here. We'll just fast travel up here um, as it is quite a quick location. Uh, oh, our energy is actually really, really low. Uh, let's go ahead and examine this. Let's see what this way... Oh, this, this is the perfect thing I wanted. Oh, we can also go see Teresa. We'll go ahead and do that for sure. Um, let's just stay a... Let's go ahead and get our shield on. And then what we want our heavy mace as well. Let's pick that one up. Let's see how these bad boys work together. Probably not going to be the best fight in the world I'll have, it, if I'm honest. <laughs> it's a... What? You want to you bet on it as well? You guys told me that I should always try and make... Uh, I'm not in the habit of fighting to the death with fellows I meet by chance on the road. What's happening is I'm challenging you to a duel, you disgusting man. What's this guy trying to do? I'm spit in your face. Eager, aren't you? I am Sir Olbram of Lossen. Pleased to meet you, Sir Olbram. So, what are you after? Uh, my mother sent me out to get some experience. She's obsessed with tales of chivalrous knights. In short, she sent me off looking for some virgin to save, and to win glory in combat. But I have to admit, I'm not very good at it. Uh, let's fight Mrs. Foolish, why, start? <laughs> why not start with a damsel? Yeah, let's just fight, dude. I want to bash your brains in with my warhammer. Glory. Let's do it then. Uh, wonderful. He doesn't look very enthusiastic, but let's go. I want to test out this warhammer, as I said. Let's see, we're going to be fighting some lot of armor. We're going to be much... Nice, I'll push him back and we just push on the attack. It's going to be much easier, I guess, for him to dodge my attacks because they're going to be so much slower. That hurt a little bit. We're also, also a little bit over encumbered, which can't be great for our stamina. Yeah, this does do some good damage. Oh, I was trying to be quicker than him. How would he beat me in the clinch? Come on. I was just trying to like, I was trying to just get my weapon quicker, but I'm not going to be quicker. I just need to block him and go in hard. Oh yeah, he lost. That was easy. So this does do quite a bit of nice damage. Are we done, my friend? I believe we are. So that's cool. You know, that's going to be a good weapon. Obviously, leveling up our mace a little bit is always good. Oh, we also leveled up here as well. Nice. So our strength is up. Um, what's head cracker? You have a 10% greater chance of knocking out your opponents with a blow to the head. Not a bad thing, but I think we desperately need to get mule. Being able to carry more weight, I think it's just way more important um, as we always end up um, getting exhausted and stuff. So we also leveled up our main level. Um, what are the new ones down here? It's these ones right in famous. So whenever we have low reputation, we gain bonuses. Um, and this one's whenever we have high reputations, we gain bonuses. I think we'll do local hero because obviously we're playing as a chivalrous knight. So having this is, is always going to be good. Um, so let's pick it up. I think I don't think there's anything else I really want. None of these are that great, if I'm honest. So yeah, let's just pick up local hero. So whenever people like us, whenever our reputation is, is high in certain places, like Neuhof or, you know, in Scalitz or somewhere like that, uh, we'll gain a nice little bit of bonus, which is good. We also leveled up our sword skills as well. Blunt strike. Do we have any good um, longsword ones left? This is a longsword one. Pretty easy as well. Any other longsword ones? Or is that literally... Yeah, we would have learned, apart from this one, which is level 13. 
We will learn all our longsword skills. Nice. We're going to have to take... Uh, I'm going to have to do some practice off camera, I think, and just check out, you know, what's what, because I wouldn't mind being a pro there, just learning off all my combos and everything. So nice. Let's continue to head off um, and do that. Because I, I feel like um, that quest in Sasau, you know, we've got to a point in the game where we're pretty far into it. And I feel like once we head over to Sasau, we're going to be there for quite a while, um, you know, investigating stuff. So I want to kind of tie up a lot of the loose ends we have and maybe pick up any good stuff, uh, like any good armor or anything whilst we're here. Whereabouts are they? Uh, it's over here to the right. Yeah, let's see how Fritz and Matthew are doing, our good friends. I definitely feel like I'm getting much better at combat now as well. Um, not only just my, my skill in itself, but also just, um, you know, taking on multiple opponents and stuff. Game saved? Oh, that can never be good. I mean, here's Matthew. How you doing, my friend? I had to talk to both of them. Are they going to give me more sir, missions to do? Why are you calling me Sir Knight? <laughs> are you happy here? It's not worth a damn. If I had any choice, you wouldn't see my heels for dust. Well, what's happened? Did you two get yourselves into trouble? A fine friend you are, assuming it's our own bloody fault. Oh, come on. You know what you two are like. I had to ask. Well, perhaps with that monk. But now, the foreman's got it in for us. If he could, he'd skin us alive. Always forcing you to work, is he? If only. That wouldn't be so awful. But nothing we do is good enough for him. There's always some reason for him to yell at us. I can imagine. You know what it's like. We do too little, and it takes us too long, and what we eat's worth more than the work we've done, and it's no fun listening to that sort of shit day after day. I mean, I hear you, I hear you. And the miller won't stick up for you. I would have thought all the yelling would drive them mad. Not really. He trusts that loudmouthed bastard more than us. He's got us down for a pair of parasites. I see. What's so stupid is the mill really needs us. They haven't had any hands here for quite a while, and the mill needs a lot of fixing. But with them around, we can't even get to work. And you definitely don't... You don't ever provoke him? I've already told you once, he's an arsehole. I'd say there's nothing we can do about it. If he wants to yell at us, he'll yell at us. Have you tried talking with him? What do you think? Well, that just sets him off. He starts saying we're practically bandits, and what he's going to do about it. That gets Fritz going, and he starts yelling too. <laughs> Classic Fritz. Never have guessed he's like that. Well, get a job. I say the that, and you'll soon see. And what does he do during the day? Does he work with you? <laughs> Good one. He keeps his eye on everything, but his hand only touches the saw when the miller shows up, which isn't that surprising. Why? The last time he did anything, he almost took his thumb off with a chisel. I wouldn't put an axe in those paws of his either. So he's clumsy and arrogant. That's what you said about your last master, that Nimoy. Aye, but at least you could sneak away from old Nimoy for a bit. No chance of that around here. And what do you want to do about it? Just run away? Actually, I'd like to stay here. At least for a bit. I never would have thought I'd like working in a mill. But not with him around. It's unbearable. And there's no one I can complain to. But you could. Me? Do you think they'll listen to me? They did once already, didn't they? They hired us because of you. You could have another word with them. Back then, making promises was enough. Now, it will be worse. You can forget about the miller. It's Thomas you need to convince. The miller takes his opinion seriously. So, will you do it for us? Again? Of course, Fine. my friend Matthew. I'll try and talk to him. <sighs> I'm glad. But try not to get on his wrong side. You won't get anywhere with him then. I'll keep that in mind. God, these guys. What can you train me in stealth? I'd like you to teach me. Certainly. Do you just level up my stealth? I'd like to practice. All right, but it'll... Now. Does he just improve my stealth a little bit? Right, yeah, cool. So let's, I guess, let's go ahead and talk to whoever we need to talk to. We still have to talk to Fritz a little bit, who is apparently over here doing his job like he should do. I remember when we first started this quest, actually, um, that they were saying the Miller's uh, fourth omen is a bit of God an save asshole. You good night. I like how they all call me that. The monastery wants you to pay for treatment. That doesn't sound right. Leave it be, Howell. <laughs> I won't. I won't. What happened? We might have pummeled his face. Uh, but don't get involved in me. 
Oh my god, we've started another quest. We're just starting so many side quests here. Wait, who exactly did you pummel? Well, he kept on bothering us and... Uh, in a nutshell, it was his fault and we're not going to talk about it anymore. But couldn't there be a way to settle it? Maybe he'd let you off the... There isn't. Well, don't be a twat for it. <laughs> the two of you are up to your necks in shit and you're going to play tough instead of seeing sense. Go to hell, Henry. You and Elias. You want as bad as the other. If you say so. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about uh, the Foreman. Your Foreman's a fool, and you're not exactly filled with Christian love for him. You better believe it. I'd like to pay him back for everything and drown him in the river. Drown him? What's he done to you? It was the uh, first or the second day here. Uh, we had a disagreement and I told him off. And then, all of a sudden, we're fighting and that fucker just throws me in the river. I nearly drowned. Well, how did you get out? I thought you couldn't swim. I can't. They pulled me out. I was up to my waist in water. I see. Well, I'd be pretty fucking angry too. So you want to pay him back? Exactly. I don't give a shit about anything around here, but that bastard's in need of a good trouncing. Well, definitely don't do that. What about the others at the mill? Are they awful as well? The miller's an old fool. He believes every word that comes out of Thomas's mouth. It's hopeless. And then there's the miller's daughter. She's a pretty lass and kind with it. But what can she do? Nothing. Not that it stops Matthew gonna see her. But Thomas is the root of the problem. Do you think he's jealous? Is she a sweetheart? He might make puppy dog eyes at her. But most of the time he just struts about like a peacock. I really don't think she's the problem. So it's not her. And what do you want to do about it? I mean, Fritz is never gonna come up with a good plan. He's gonna say he just wants to punch no him or something. Chance. Matthew hopes so because he likes it here. It's true the work's better than the mines, but the play's worse. So how do you plan on dealing with it? Leaving? Perhaps. But first, I want to give Thomas a proper trouncing. I mean a real thrashing. And you think that will help? Maybe. Maybe it'll knock some sense into that fat head of his. Or he'll be too frightened to mess with me. That might help. Probably won't, so though. Why don't you arrange a fight with him? If we win, you leave us alone. <laughs> sure. Oh, we could... What? We could lure him off someplace far away and then wait for him. Maybe to play dice with Lawrence. He would have to go through the dark woods. Mm. I'll think about it. Definitely don't want to just harass him. I still want to ask you more... Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I definitely don't want to uh, just beat him up. So I think we're just going to talk to him and see what we can do. He should be around here somewhere. Yeah, he's just off here to the right in this house. Yeah, I definitely don't want to just like ambush him. That's obviously not how we're playing. We want to try and use our words, if at all possible. Thomas, let's swim in. You need to have a chat, good sir. I'm at your service, Sir Knight. So what do you think about the workers I brought you? If I hadn't put in a good word for them, the miller would have thrown them out by now. That's good and leave. I heard them say something else. So they're complaining, are they? <laughs> I provide for them and all they do is slack off. Isn't it the miller who provides for them? He can't manage the work anymore. If it weren't for me, there'd be nothing left standing around here. But you need the help anyway. And they're pretty handy. Maybe, but they're in no danger of overworking themselves. They act like they're too good for the mill, and I saw them eyeing up Jane. So it's all about Jane, Strange basically. About that. She's a pretty girl, and she's of an age to marry. It's not marriage they've got on their minds. They'd have their way with her, then before her belly started to grow, they'd have run for the hills. Look, we can reach an agreement. You need the mill fixed, they need the money. If they have peace to do their work... They'll be able to finish it faster. But... And then they'll take their groschen and leave. 
The mines will open again, and the faster they get their money, the quicker they'll be gone. But do you really think I can trust them to do it? Will they do their work and leave? And leave Jane alone in the meantime? <laughs> no, they have enough. Yeah, I'll arrange it. They're not interested in the mill. They just need the coin to pay their debts. Once they've got enough, they'll have no reason to stay here. I never thought we could sort it out this way. I've known them for a long time, and you can rely on them when it comes to this. Everybody will be better off. All right. If they keep their part of the bargain, I'll even give them a few extra groschen. But woe be tied them if they don't. You can tell them that. So Matthew might not be happy about it, but I think this is the best kind of situation. They can maybe always deal with it a little bit later because he seems a bit sweet on Jane. But, you know, this is the best way to keep everyone happy. It took some doing, but I made a deal with him. Well, like Fritz to wants to be it. in the conversation as well. Stay here? He'll leave us be? He'll leave you alone, but there are conditions. Once you finish your job, you'll vanish from here. But you'll get an extra groschen or two for your troubles. And that's it? I thought... Never mind. Oh, and you're to stop dallying with the miller's daughter. Keep on mucking about with her and you'll muck things up for yourselves. The fucking bastard. He can go fuck himself. He'd better give us enough groschen to make it worth it. But I suppose I should thank you. You may have bought us some peace and quiet, and that's better than nothing. Here's something for your help. I mean, you guys need this money to pay off your debts. Why are you giving me cash? What the hell are you doing? So we completed that one side mission. I feel like we've, we've gained one and lost the other. Um, so we should have a few more missions still left around this area. Obviously, Teresa, we can go back and see her. We have the King Silver, which is going to be, I imagine, yeah, all the way up in the Scallet's Mine. We have one over in Uzert's right there. Pestilence, so I think we're still waiting, right, for it to clear up. So probably wait a couple more days. And in God's Hands, I believe that's back at the Monastery as well. But I can't quite do that yet because they're up, obviously, treating the sick over in the Pestilence Quest. So we kind of have to just wait a couple bit. Let's go back and see Teresa. Um, and hopefully by the time we've seen Teresa for the second time, we'll be able to finish up this mission, meaning that we can then go over to uh, uh, over to Sasau and we'll be able to um, you know start the next main quest uh, quest properly. As, as I said, I feel like once we go over to Sasau, we're going to be there for a little while. And we'll just fast travel here again, try and get a few of these side missions cleaned up a little bit in this episode. We definitely are tired though, so having a, a sleep at some point, probably after this mission, would be a great idea. Just another beggar. Probably just end up giving them some money, but we will see. We are obviously a chivalrous knight helping the uh, need. The farmer threw me out with my little girl. A bastard. He fathered it himself and then got rid of us so his wife wouldn't scratch his eyes out. So I beg here at the roadside. Nothing else is left to me. Be merciful, good sir. A few groschen, sir. So I can go and buy some milk for the little Of course. I'll give you something if I have it. Give five groschens. Give something to eat. Of course. Thank you, sir. We've done our good deed for the day, that is for sure. Um, obviously, you've got to tell Teresa that that's how, you know, that's the type of guy we are, just helping out the needy. Hopefully gain some extra points. So Teresa should just be up here on the right. I doubt we'll be able to get to, uh, you know, to the good stuff in this mission. I imagine there's going to be maybe one or two more missions. Um, also, I believe we actually might have some good clothes we can wear to boost our stats. Not that we really need to because uh, we are a... Did I not put anything in here? Because we picked up some slippers, I think. Did we not? I could have sworn we had some slippers. I guess each, uh, each chest is different and that must be in our proper one. Um, that's fine though. Let's just wash ourselves really quickly just in case we do have any mod on ourselves doesn't look like we do So yeah, our charisma isn't high, but I don't think we really need our charisma to be that high Teresa my girl. Why are you not talking to me? There we go Teresa Teresa where you going? Let's go on another date girl Don't you want to do something together again? Um, I like no yeah. Don't you want to do something together again? I can't now Come back in the evening, will you? I guess I can. Um, sure. So back in the evening. We can do that. I actually do need to sleep as well because I am a little bit tired. 
Uh, we could also do some reading as well. I might sleep, just get my energy up a little bit, and then read the rest of the day, because we do have a, uh, a couple... So let's just wait until, uh, till, yeah, till five, and then we'll read for a couple hours, I think, because we do have a book we're slowly making our way forward, uh, through, um, and obviously boosting up our energy is, is a much needed thing, as we were down to like 55, I think. This should boost it up to 80 plus, meaning we can go for pretty much another couple days without sleep. Teresa, Teresa, Teresa. So we'll read now until the evening. Um, if we go to the inventory, I don't know what our book is actually called. Yeah, it's this one right here. Marathon is the one we are currently reading. And we can study that. Oh, just one, yeah, till seven. That probably should take us two evening. I imagine, you know, seven o'clock is evening. So we'll just finish up the book. Hopefully it will give us some good stats. Another little strength boost wouldn't be too bad. Because obviously the higher our strength is, the more damage we do with our swings. And we're already doing a decent amount with obviously all our other buffs as well. So completing this book is another one. And we can also just sell these books as well, which are always pretty decent. So we actually have increased our vitality, which is a stat we don't really level up too much. So we have finished this now, I believe. Right? If I... Yeah, we've already read this from cover to cover. So we can even just move this to our horse now. Uh, we also have this as well, which is, will be a good spell. It's also worth an okay amount of money. Um, and, you know, our money is okay right now, but maybe... Maybe... I mean, we were wanting, we were wanting to um, buy ourselves a new horse as well at some point. And, like, fully upgrade that. So, yeah, our vitality leveled up. So we got a few more. Blood Rusher. After beating your your first opponent, you get a 50% attack bonus and your stamina will generate one quarter. That seems amazing for taking on multiple people. As soon as your health falls to minimum, you'll go into Berserk. Your stamina will I don't really care about that. I feel like I'm always quite good at keeping my health high. You can dispel hunger with anything. We don't really need to do that. And then uh, I think definitely Blood Rusher. So whenever we kill our first person, we do 50% more attack damage. That is just crazy amounts good so yeah we'll pick that up um for sure so basically we're good at fighting multiple people now i'll take that all day long do we need to eat at all we could do with a nice little a bit of food so we'll we'll eat some teresa's food before we go and see her oh teresa dear where for out are you? you you can't be asleep right no, you're not asleep. You're not up there, right? No, you're not. Good. Just making sure she hasn't, like, gone to sleep or something. Um, oh, yeah, you were just in there, I think I just saw. That's the Miller. Where is your daughter, Miller? Oh, she's out here. Oh, yeah, she's sitting down, reading a nice book as usual. I mean, it should be evening as well. She did say to come back in the evening. What are you doing? Having a little conversation with you, my girl. I've brought you something. What did I bring her? Oh, how? Is this for me? This must have cost I you don't know fortune. what I keep giving her. I like it very much. You I've... really mustn't bring me any more. I have no idea. How about now? Fancy a walk to the town? That sounds wonderful. Everyone says the Broken Wheel Tavern is the fun place to be in the evening. I want you to take me there. Have you ever been to a tavern? Me and my father used to stop at the tavern in the glade when he was taking the flower into town, but he never wanted to take me inside. What do you think, Hal? Shall we go? Yeah, we can go. Uh, if you want to, why not? No, there isn't the time. Um, just where might that be? And just where might that be? Just above the upper gate, a little before you reach Ratai. Yeah, sure, let's go. I don't see why not, but you'll have to try some ale while you're there. I will. I promise. Let's be going then. Let's go with Teresa, my, my lady. I might take off my helmet because I feel like, you know, we want to obviously be cleanly shaven and it doesn't even boost my charisma. It actually reduced my charisma. I was going to take it off because I felt like it would uh, hurt me a little bit. Oh, it doesn't do anything. Oh, we'll just keep it on. It doesn't really matter. Teresa, my love, you want to go and sprint again like last time? Because in the first mission, if you missed it, uh, we were running with Teresa and she just took off. She Go literally, lot, Usain you? bolted. Sometimes. If I want a proper meal, I have to. You wouldn't want to eat the stuff I cook. <laughs> That's true. 
I haven't forgotten that bet you made back in Scalitz that time. Don't talk about those oat cakes. Fritz's belly heaves at the very mention, even now. And that's where you go to woo wenches, is it? Yeah, naturally. The taverns and baths are where the best ones gather. You lout. There's no need to take it the wrong way. I'm not taking it any way at all. It's all right. I'm only joking. I don't go picking up women in taverns. I prefer a different sort. Married sort women, that's what I prefer. All mouth and green eyes. You're such a... <laughs> Come on, then. Lady Stephanie, that's who we prefer, prefer apparently. But hopefully we won't tell yeah. Teresa about that. Here we are. <sighs> should, we, uh, should we order something? Yes, definitely. Uh, <clears throat> service. <laughs> oh, a pair of lovebirds. <laughs> what would you like to order? <clears throat> mm. is, it, uh, is it all right? It's excellent. This ale, there's no better in the mm. province. You know what? She wants to dance. What? What are you doing? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. In no, my no. knightly uh, armour. Uh, but, but really, yes, yes, not very yes. oh, manoeuvrable in, in my no, armour, Teresa. Hand on my hip. I, I don't even know how. And off we go. <laughs> but, but really, <laughs> I, I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing just fine. Right. My spurs on as well. Oh, it's, All right. It's fine. <laughs> 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 All right. Mm. <laughs> oh, very nice. <laughs> Not so bad. <laughs> you wore me out. And you said you couldn't dance. How about a dance with a real man? Oh, dude. How about you leave me alone and bother someone else? Oh, come on. It's a crime to waste a body like that on a scrawny boy like you. I'm literally in full armor like a with a cuff. long sword. Uh, that's it. I like a woman to fight before I fuck her. <laughs> You'll pay for that, boy. Do you want me to run you through with my broadsword? Because I easily can. Like, I'm literally uh, like in full plate armor. With chainmail on my sword to one side. You really wanna fight? I just pull out my sword. I imagine we're about to fist fight now. So I just pull out my sword and see what he wants to go. Now I'll beat him up first. I mean I'm like punching him with like gauntlets and everything. His face is already like bloody. Literally ruined him. He did not stand a chance with them quick, quick hits. I'm not even bloodied. Come on. My hero. Does it hurt? Not at all, because I didn't even get a hit. Me, Come on, Henry. I'm fine. Ow. Of course you are. That's why you wince every time I touch you. You saw him off, though. He wasn't feeling so playful after you'd finished with him. That tickles. Baby. Oh, at least I get Teresa to nurse me back to full health. Can't be a bad thing. So, you'll probably be fine. Of course but I will be. Try to give your hands some rest. Don't go lifting anything too heavy. Thank you. Can I take you home? You never give up. Are you sure you don't need a bit more rest? I can find my own way home. I'll manage those few extra steps. Come on then, hero. Are we going to get down to business now? Now that you're letting me walk you home, or is this gonna... Do we have to come back in a couple of days? Feels like I'm gonna get down to business, boys! I'll give you this. Nights out with you might be painful, but they're never boring. I do my best. <laughs>
Uh, you should go in before Peshek starts fretting. <laughs> Oh, Teresa, yes, boys, we did it. Oh. <laughs> hopefully, ne hopefully next time she'll kiss my broadsword. That would be a pretty awesome. If you know what I mean. So now we've done the Teresa quest. Yeah, out in a couple of days. So we'll come back in the next couple of days and we'll further that quest. Um, oh, he probably wasn't happy about that little cheeky kiss we just got. So now what, do, what, now what are we up to? Obviously, it's like night time, but we are fully rested. I guess we could head up to the mines. Is that something I want to do? I might also clear out the bandit, cap up, uh, bandit camp up here by Neuhof, Um As we also want to look into horses as well. So let's go do that. Especially if we come in at night time, we should be okay. It's so much nicer being able to carry an extra 15 pounds. It really, really is. Um, so let's go to quest log. We'll go ahead and do that. Hopefully this will be wrapped up soon as well. Courtship is up there. And then like these ones we can all do as well at some point. Because um, like this is at Sasau. This is at Sasau. This is obviously up in Skalitz, and this is up in Uzerts up here to the north. So like three of these missions we can just do in uh, Sasau when we're there. But now, though, I think I'm going to go and deal with this one right here. Yeah, a. Hey. So let's, uh, let's fast travel our way through here. Do we want to? Um, how long? 41 minutes into the episode. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just fast travel for now. Um, I'm actually going to probably put up a poll over on my channel where you guys can decide. Oh, definitely. I feel like half the time when we get attacked on the road. Oh, these guys are already. You haven't even got your... You guys haven't even got your... You, you're just naked. What are you guys planning on doing? There's one dead already. Like... <laughs> wow, you guys were difficult. I was, I was saying, like, I feel like half the time when I get attacked and road, these guys just, like... Literally just... Yeah, well, Mercy killed both of these. I feel like most of the time, I'm sorry, I repeat myself like six times. Like, we just never end up getting attacked, so they just end up running away. Keep food fresher for longer, and you can even turn to foil. Oh, that's kind of good, actually. Uh, we'll... Oh, I did not mean to take all his goddamn clothes. My mistake. Uh, we probably do need to eat. Bard potion. Lucian's for tongue and lowers increases speech by five for ten minutes. Oh, definitely. Definitely pick that up. Everything else, not so much. I want to drop these clothes we just picked up by mistake, if I'm honest. Um, so we'll just drop that, drop that, don't need your gross old boots, these guys, like, who in their right mind decided to attack me, like, clearly, I'm more than, uh, more than just a, a, a lonely peasant, like, I'm fairly well armoured, I'm not gonna lie, but, you know, nonetheless, it's actually kind of decent that they did stop us and attack us, because we are actually quite, kind of close to the bandit camp as well, so, I guess it's actually kind of good. And remember when we get to uh, to Neuhof, we'll go and just read our book for a little while. Actually, I believe it's actually up here to the right we need to go. Yeah, up here. We might actually run across the bandit camp whilst we make our way up here. Because it's, it's literally just up this road, so that'd be cool. And because it's night time, we might actually be able to do some sneaky stuff. Uh, we might be able to like take out a few of them without them paying attention. I would like, I wouldn't mind leveling up my stealth honestly, because I imagine it's going to be useful at some point. But yeah, as I was saying, like I wouldn't mind leveling it up to a point where we can do stealth kills. I think that's like level four or five. Like stealth kills, I think would be really useful. Yeah, you can see the camp right there. Let's leave a horse here then. Like his stealth kills, I think would be so useful. Obviously, we'd have to be wielding a dagger and stuff, but even still, let's climb across here. And I believe this is like the third mission for Captain Bernard. So it's going to probably be a little bit more difficult than usual. I could also use my mace if I wanted to, but these guys obviously won't be very well armoured. Let's just make our way in. We'll go somewhat quietly. Obviously, in full plate armour, we can't really hide too well. So there's a guard right off. Oh, there's also a guard here. Let's just uh, try and take this guy out because it looks like there is quite a few of them. Anyone notice? Yeah, they all notice. Cool, well, let's just go in. I'm 
trying to stab this guy, but I can't get around the tree. Let me into the camp. Get over here. What are you doing here? Of life, are you? Not quite. Let's go, boys. I want to challenge you. Bandits don't normally offer me enough challenge. Hey. Apart from this guy, this guy's actually doing some nice damage to me. Okay, here we go. He's going to... Get my energy back as well. <laughs> nice. We've got a nice little bonus now. Let's try and make sure we get out of the way of that bow. I want to try and get over here so we can deal with this archer. We took one hit there from this guy. Two hits from this guy. Three hits from this guy. We can't block. We have no energy. But at least we've taken out the archer now. Now it's just Come a one-on-one. -on -one. Now it's just a one-on-one, -on -one, so it should be easy enough. Took a little bit of damage. He's pretty wounded already as well. There we go. Perfect. Overall, these bandits don't really stand a chance. Like, these guys are a little bit harder... But not not really too much. So let's pick that up. Let's pick up a bandit here, obviously. Anything worth a ton of money? Probably that and the helmet. The helmet is actually probably better than my one right now. So it might be worth picking that up. Um, obviously the Groshans as well. Always, forever and always. Any other loot there? Obviously take his ear so we get a bit more money. A bit more barbaric, but these guys are literally slaughtering innocent people, so... He's still alive. I don't know who's still alive, but oh well. Maybe I went ahead and gathered more soldiers. I mean, it's just more people I can kill, so... If they want to go, I'll, I'll go. Fuck, I messed that up. Keep losing it. Where is it? Right there. There we go. That's perfect. This is an easy lock. And this is also really good because uh, nothing in there. Great. Uh, this is always half decent though because it is helping us to increase our stats a little bit. Anything worth, I guess, take that a little bit. We are obviously over encumbered now, but that's fine. We can shove this stuff on our horse again. This is probably actually better for us. Then our current helmet. That's a crappy shield, though. Is this van brace it's really not worth that much? I guess not. So let's go and shove this stuff all over onto our horse, obviously. Yeah, it's not actually as, it's not actually good enough. Um, surprisingly enough, maybe because our armor, yeah, probably because our armor is at 100% HP. Helps out a little bit. Could definitely do with getting some of this stuff repaired as well. <laughs> If we run into anything. But nice, that's, that's them all killed. Uh, I do want to go loot this guy really quickly, though. The guy we uh, took out from behind. That's why, like, stealth killing would just be really nice. I might actually grab a dagger. It's always good to have a dagger on on myself, I think. Well, that's worth a lot of money. None of this other stuff is, though. Again, just shove it over to my horse. Five bloodied ears as well. I think it's more of these. Yeah, this stuff is going to be uh, pretty decent. We just need to... Well, no, I guess when we go to Sassau, we can sell them. Because I have quite a few on my horse from just other missions and stuff. And there's so many potions and crap we have. This stuff is like... Having food is always good. Especially because a lot of this food doesn't actually perish too much either. And we have okay weight. Like, ideally, I wouldn't like to be this heavy, but whatever. Great, so that's them all dealt with. I might actually just sleep in their camp. Um, until daytime. To sleep with all. Oh, look at them. They've all just been slaughtered. Obviously not going to be very comfortable. But a bed's a bed. We are a little bit wounded as well. But I think by sleeping we should get rid of these wounds. Um, just until, I don't know, like... Yeah, until like 6. And then we can make our journey over to Neuhof. Um, obviously I should maybe should be reading that other book we have. Oh. Who's here? Let's go. Some more bandits? Let's go. Let's get up and... Uh, Get these guys. The don't shoot me, don't shoot me. Dock and dive, dodge, dock, Get dive. Yes, here. you missed. You're so ruined, my friend. Yes! <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! He shot an arrow, missed. Have him pay, can yeah. Give me your coin. 
If you ins How much are you gonna give me for that? 24, that's like nothing, but yeah, piss out over here. You got your weapon as well. Yeah, you go over. I've given you my word I'd let you escape, so you just get out of here. Uh, let's just let's just go over because I'm sure Neuhoff will probably have a horse or two for me, or even just at least a bench we can go ahead and use um, to read our book. We want to learn that potion because alchemy seems to be pretty decent um, and a useful skill to have. Because I think having alchemy at a decent level will provide us with like some good stats we could uh, definitely use. So the more spells we we have, the better. More spells, I guess, the more alchemist training we have the better obviously i just saw we did level up our horse which is good if there's anyone to allow our horse to carry more that'd be great so what is this neuhoff now yeah we're just coming up to neuhoff the stod farm obviously being right up here they're all gonna be asleep right now but we can just find a bench and read whilst we wait As they do have some lovely horses, I wouldn't mind picking up. There's faster ones, you know. Because if we get a faster horse as well, we can use that to travel around the map a lot more as well. We could even steal ourselves a nice horse. The dog's asleep, right? It's not dead yet. Okay, just making sure. Let's just go ahead and sit. Um, and wait until daytime, because I, I think they're all going to bed now and stuff. So We can just read, though. We do have that book we want to learn. So um, Yeah, right here, the recipe. It's worth a lot of money. Oh, we just had to do that. We don't have any more books, I don't think. I guess we could read this. Level up our reading as well. I guess that's useful. I might read that off camera. Um, but for now, I guess we'll just wait until the daytime. Stop barking at me, dog. Because we don't really have anything else to do. Um, let's just... That's five hours of wasting. We could do with a sleep, if I'm honest. And they don't want to trade me a horse now, because someone did just... Yeah, hey, how's it going? Are you trade with me now? No, you won't. Right. I don't really want to just waste this time. You guys have been telling me not to waste time in this game a lot more, but I don't really think there's much else we can do around this area. Yeah, there's like nothing, no real side missions we have over here, I don't think. I and mean, if we go to our quest, I don't think any of our quests are around here. Yeah, that's over in the monastery. That's over in the monastery. That's up in there. That's up in Uzerts. So, I mean, we could, I guess we could make our way up to Uzerts and start that mission, but I feel like that's just going to take us way too long. So, I, I guess we will just wait. Unfortunately, you guys, obviously, as I know, have been telling me not to be doing this as much. I do try my best. Obviously, if we had a good book, we would read that. So, let's try and buy some books next time, I guess, when we arrive, arrive in Sasau. So, yeah, sorry. Sorry, if, like, this episode, I feel like it's been a bit sporadic, and I've been, like, running around like a headless chicken. Uh, but I apologize. Next episode, we'll stick a lot more to the story, I think. Well, maybe next episode we'll do the foundry quest, because that probably sounds pretty fun by Scalets. So maybe we'll buy a horse and we'll head up to Scalets now, and then next episode we'll do the Scalets mission, and then maybe start the main story mission um, in Sasau, and maybe do all of them missions whilst we're there. Great, everyone seems to be awake. So now I'm looking for, what, like, the horse trader? I imagine would be... I don't know where we'd find them, though. Just like laying around, or are they all asleep still? This is the storehouse. Because, yeah, this is where we obviously would pick one up. So it'd be like horse traders like up here to the left. So maybe he's still asleep. Yeah, imagine. Oh, is that him right there? Hey, Henry's come to see you. And because they all love me as well, it's going to be really easy, hopefully. Yeah, it looks like they're all waking up now. What the hell? Welcome, Henry. Welcome indeed. Has he appointed anyone new? Because I swear Neuhoff didn't have like a proper dude for a while. Is that everyone? Just trying to peer, peer through the window. Oh, it's probably in here, right? There's bedrooms and stuff, but... I'm looking for the trader. I want to buy myself a nice new horse. One which is faster than Pebbles. Pebbles has done me well. Henry, I'm glad you came. It's like here, but... Hey, watch it. I'll wait like another hour and see. Wait till 8 o'clock. And then we'll see. 
Because, yeah, well, I know I'll probably spend the majority of my money on buying a new horse. I'm not even sure if this is enough cash as well. 1800 isn't exactly a ton of cash. Here we go. Probably her, right? Oh, we don't want to do that. Also, we can get some pretty nice horse armor, though. Which I might try and pick up. Yeah, look how expensive this stuff is. I mean, these aren't that bad. Um, we'll definitely maybe try and pick some up. Um, but yeah, I want to buy a new horse, Zora. I'd like to buy a horse. I'm glad to hear it. Have you looked them over? Not yet. Then go and have a look in the stables, so you know what you're buying. So do I want to have to go find a horse? So what horse should we get? Oh, we can actually inspect it, so... My horse is actually slower, but can carry a bunch more. Has more courage. Not that courage is too much, more stamina, so it basically can just go for longer. Oh, this one's actually, yeah, not as fast, but again... Is it going to be the same for all of them? He has so much more, like, courage and stuff. Yeah, we're definitely not this horse. No more horses here. Is that all of them? I guess it is. Well, I do want to buy a new horse, so... There is actually a stable down the bottom. What about these horses? Can I inspect these ones? Or these actual... I imagine these are actual people horses, yeah. Can I leave pebbles here out of interest? So yeah, I've inspected them, but then do I just go and pick the one I want? Or, or what? How does it work? I'd like to buy a... I'm glad to hear. Have you looked them over? I have indeed. I have. The best there are. Is there one in particular? I don't know. Like, how do I know? None of them have names. Like, none of them do have names, right? It just says inspect horse. Maybe it does have a name. Um, and I'm just being foolish. Yeah, it just says other horse. So how am I, how am I to know what horse is what? I guess it's like a high tier horse is going to be good. Yeah, I don't know. There must be a trick there, which I'm just not seeing, maybe. God save Henry. Indeed. Look out. I'm sorry, oh, milady. Be a bit more careful. I'm sorry. <laughs> just let me talk to you, girl. Let's go. I'd like to buy a horse. I'm glad to hear. Have you looked them over? I have, but I still have no uh, idea. We'll just buy like a high tier one... horse, I guess. Strong and swift. A fine horse for the hunt. You'd nearly think he was a beast of prey. So that's 1300 Surely you'll knock something off the price if I trade in my old one. So let's see if we can get it for like fifth yeah, like thirteen fifty, I think. So we say like a hundred groshens, let's see. Agree. She does love well, me as well. A little more and we'll call it a deal. I have no idea if this horse is good or not. I'm assuming it is. Hashtag four twenty boys. Uh let's see. Done. Uh, nice. So we have a new horse. But where the hell is it? We also traded in our last one. Wait. Oh my god, did I lose all my stuff? Or did it move thank god it moved over, right? Yeah. So, two, uh, Tolpa. We don't... It's so annoying that... Can I inspect this one? I guess we can go and inspect another one and we can compare it. Because I just feel like it didn't really show me anything. So, this one is really fast. Has This one seems like a really good horse, right? It doesn't have as great stamina, but its speed is 56. This is a super fast horse. With really good capacity as well. And okay courage. So, it will lead, go into battle pretty nicely. This is a good horse. A good horse indeed. Unfortunately, I don't think we have any saddles or anything. Um, to actually stick on the horse. Oh, we do. So we can that needs to be repaired though, so we'll repair that. We'll actually buy just buy a new one, I think. The reins can go on. And I think I'll probably buy better horse armor as well. Or horse like clothes to keep it nice and cool from her. So yeah, let's trade. Let's spend the rest of our, our cash, like pretty much all the cash we have on just buying better stuff. Um so we want to get a new stat a saddle, right? We only we don't even have that much. We have 500. Well, we can't even buy a noble saddle. Can we sell some stuff to her? Would she buy anything? I don't really want to sell any of this. What about our gauntlets? Should she, should she buy all our gauntlets from us if we take them off our horse? As we do have many. Like I wonder if she should buy these off me. 
We could trade them in, honestly. I doubt for a lot, but we could definitely see. Like, they're worth, like, an okay amount. Because I'd love to at least get a good saddle for the horse. So, how much would you buy these off me for? Mm, that would give me, if we give sell both of them as well. That's not actually a bad price. So, that gives me, like, an extra couple hundred. So, if I was to buy, what, a basic saddle... A fine saddlebag actually is pretty good. It's not as good as a noble one, but what's the difference? So the noble one probably just gives me some good stuff, whereas this one's cheap. Yeah, it's just it's just cheaper. I guess it just doesn't look as good. Well, of course, we'll buy that. We'll save ourselves a lot of money. Um, I guess these all do add stuff to the horse as well. So what one of these do I like? I kind of like this one, the red one. It looks kind of like quite English coat of arms. 78 gold, we'll, we'll screw, say, screw it and buy it. So we pay 300, obviously we'll try and haggle the price down a little bit, maybe try and save ourselves from gosh, because we are a little bit broke like right now. I'm well. not going to lie. I think we do have some good stuff that we could sell on our um, on our horse at the moment, but... Well, a little more. Aye, that would do. Great, we saved ourselves a bit of money. Our haggling skills, not too bad. So nice, a new horse ready for our adventures. We have all of this stuff as well, which is pretty decent as well. We are actually somewhat heavily over-encumbered. Um, wait, do I, I, I actually have to move it to my horse, don't I? But before, it's just saddlebags to give our horse a large amount of extra room. Yeah, it improves our capacity by a ton. Our horse can have so much extra room now. Oh, that looks dope. That looks cool as hell. Uh, that really does. Nice. Horseshoes wouldn't be bad, and obviously we don't have horse armor at all. We don't really have any cash now. That's probably all of our money, um, if I'm honest. Yeah, we have 250 groschens left. Do we have anything on our horse? Oh, we still have a lot of armor we can sell on our horse, so we'd want to do that at some point. Yeah, we have a ton of stuff we need to sell. But the fact that our horse can carry all this extra stuff is amazing. It looks all it looks dope as hell. I'm, I'm definitely happy with our purchase of this horse. And it's speed as well. This is just a normal trot speed, which I feel like is just as fast as, like, the speed of our previous horse. Like, I'm not even... Am I sprinting? Oh, I am sprinting. But this horse is, is, like, almost double the speed. So we should be able to get around the map a lot quicker now as well. So I think what we're going to do now is, just before we wrap up the episode, is make our way over to Scalitz and we will further this quest... Um, over here and just check out the mine because hopefully by the time we've done that we can do this quest and then we can then go down to Sassau. You know, maybe next episode we'll do the Scalitz quest and make our way down to Moyhoff and then also do this. Um, so it should be a good couple episodes. Again, I'm not trying to rush around or anything. I feel like this episode I kind of did, which I apologize for if it got a bit annoying. Just trying to do one thing after the other. I, I kind of just need to kind of sit down and just, if I'm going to do a side quest, just do the entire side quest instead of trying to do, oh, I'll do this side quest and then I'll do that side quest. I definitely understand where you guys are coming from. I kind of just need to set my goal for an episode to do one thing and do it instead of trying to complete all the missions. Um, but yeah, so for sure, our horse is looking beautiful now. She is a mighty mare indeed. So let's make our way over to Scalitz. We will check out the silver mines because I imagine that will be a really good mission to get ourselves a lot of gold. Then we'll head over to Sassau, probably finish up a few, couple side missions we have there. And does this guy want to fight as well? This could be a good way to end the episode. Oh, faint hearted. Is this the same guy we beat up earlier? What is it then? <laughs> is it? Um, it's about this. What? You heard? Don't... All right, let's do it. Let's go. I'm this is the same guy we'd be up last time, but you know, this is a good way to train our swordsmanship, so let's do it. God, we need to lock onto him a bit better. There we go. He's already out of breath. What the hell is he doing? <laughs> well, that was hard. It wasn't exactly a. When will this ever end? It probably won't if you keep on fighting Mother's like that. Right. Wow, well, he was pointless. Unfortunately, we couldn't, like, get some money out of him. Would have been good to wrap up some cash. So, cool. I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Next episode, I will hopefully try and make it a bit more structured than this one. This one was a bit of a mess. But what we'll do is we'll make our way over to here. And then we'll go up to Scalitz. And actually, I'll fast travel here whilst I'm ending the episode. Um, so, yeah. Make sure to drop a like and a comment if you... In oh, I will do this first. Sorry.
definitely interfering here. So this is like a hold up, right? Oh, there's so many bandits here. Okay, this will be the final battle then. Killing that guy with a pole arm will be good. You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. That's a guy. I try to take that guy out first. Wow. Okay, this is going to be a good fight. Let's go. Come on. Hey. That's one of them dead already. Our sword is so good. I'm just faster than like all of them. Yeah, these like weakly trained dudes are nothing. Can we can we kind of talk to you? The other guy is still around here as well. Don't worry, guys. I, I saved your life, so you're fine. Great, cool. So I'm gonna loot these guys. Probably head over to the Plague City, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Wow. Uh, hopefully we'll run across some harder people because now that we're well trained, now that our strength is like 13, we're cutting people down pretty nicely, especially with this sword that does 112 slash damage. It's goddamn amazing. Um, obviously, you know, in the when we further our quest line, I imagine we're going to come against some much more heavily armored knights. And I think humans are much harder than these guys anyway. Bandits are just not really, you know, capable of taking us on. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next one and fish out.